I'm here at the opening of this exciting power station, you know, a billion pound investment. It's going to power three and a half million homes, a uh, hundred people, many from the local community, of course, are going to be working here, 2,000 people involved in construction. This is a wonderful opportunity for me. Great news for Pembrokeshire, great news for the whole of the nation. You come into the role of replacing Charles Henry, who obviously was quite a favourite. So how are you, do you kind of come into that role and, and take that on? Well, it's a big challenge. Uh, Charles was a very diligent minister, but of course I've been a minister in the government for the last two and a half years, and I hope I can bring some of those skills. The two uh, core requirements for a minister are clarity of purpose and strength of will, and I have both in abundance. Certainty uh, is uh, absolutely essential. We're going to get the investment I described, and the prefix of certainty is clarity. How are you getting on with embracing wind power? I think we need an energy mix, and part of that's about renewables. Uh, you know, the government's got commitments to renewables, and uh, uh, that's very important. But as today shows, that in all, if we're going to guarantee energy security, that mix is going to include gas, by the way, as well. And we shouldn't be apologetic about that. We should say we're going to have nuclear, we're going to have renewables, we're going to have gas. Let's be confident about the policy which says we need that mix to guarantee security. Energy investment, how good is this for the economy? Incredibly good for the economy. In fact, I think in some ways, you know, we've punched below our weight in those terms. When we speak about uh, infrastructure investment, we speak of houses and roads, I'm right that we should. But actually, energy is the heart of that. Energy investment, infrastructure like we see here in Pembroke, is essential, not only because it facilitates growth, but it also is the uh, way in which we power the economy, literally and metaphorically, by the way. And so let's understand the significance, the salience of energy infrastructure to the whole of our economy.